In this video, you will learn how to create persistent links to library resources for your course content. Persistent links, also known as permalinks or stable links, are URLs to an online library resource that can be used on or off campus and should not change over time. Creating persistent links is simple, but the process may vary slightly depending on the database platform or publisher's website. In addition to this video, we have created a persistent link guide that shows you how to create these links for many of our popular resources. Today we will be creating persistent links for an ebook chapter and two library articles, which can be later added to your online course. Our first example will be to create a persistent link to Chapter 5 in the ebook titled Collaboration in the Academic Library Internal and External, Local and Regional, National and International. Begin by copying the title and pasting it into the library's quick search. The first result is the title we want. After clicking on the title, you will be viewing the detailed record. Notice the permalink option under Tools in the right-hand column. Using this permalink brings students directly to this page, but will not bring them directly to the full text of Chapter 5. First, we need to locate Chapter 5 in ScienceDirect. Then, to create a persistent link directly to Chapter 5, we will copy the link that is positioned directly above the abstract. Hovering over the link reads, Persistent Link Using Digital Object Identifier. Inspect this link to see if it begins with a SHU proxy prefix. Links to all subscribed library content must begin with this proxy string. Otherwise, library resources will not be accessible off-campus. However, there are a few exceptions. Open access resources and other freely available materials on the internet do not need the proxy prefix and the link will not work if it is added. Since this publisher does not include the proxy prefix and it is a resource we subscribe to, we will add the prefix to the beginning of the original persistent link. The resulting link should look like this. In this second example, we will use the library citation linker tool to locate an article. On the library homepage, click on Citation Linker, located under the Search drop-down menu. If you have the DOI, simply insert it into the DOI field and click Submit. The results show us that this article is available in several databases. We will choose to find it in Sociology Database. Being that this is a ProQuest platform, you can get the persistent link by clicking on the All Options button at the top right of the page and clicking on the link in the pop-up box. This copies the link to your clipboard. Since it already has the proxy prefix, nothing else needs to be done. In our final example, we will use Quick Search again. Copy and paste the last article title into the search box. Again, the first result is the title we want. After clicking on the title, this time you will notice the full text is available if you scroll down the page or also available full text as a PDF. In this case, it is okay to use the permalink found under Tools because it will bring students directly to the full text. When we inspect this permalink, again we see the proxy prefix is already included. After confirming that all three links are working correctly from on-campus and off-campus, they can be added to your online course. Please remember to consult our persistent link guide for additional information, and please feel free to contact the library if you need assistance.